Hello everybody, I'm Philip Duncan. Thank you for joining us. Hope you had a good weekend. Well, this week we're kicking off with the wintry southerlies all over again. So this time South Island focused for Monday gets into the North Island on Tuesday. So this is the animated wind map for Monday in the areas in blue that you can see on the screen. That's below zero. So we are expecting snow flurries and single digit daytime highs on Monday and Tuesday around parts of the South Island, especially the southern half. You can see the wind flow. It's a southwester for the South Island at the moment. In the north, it's more of a westerly quarter wind. It's a little bit southwest for some, but it's northwest for many others, especially along that eastern side. Let's get into Tuesday, and it's windy on Tuesday. Big surge of wind as the second cold change moves through. The areas in red, that's getting around gale force, that 60, 70 kilometer an hour mark. So gales in these coastal areas pushing into Auckland during the day. There might be an isolated power cut, a couple of branches here and there down, but generally speaking, this is right at the bottom end of any sort of damage threshold. But worth mentioning that it's coming through a bit of blast of wind, and it's windy also along the eastern side of central New Zealand, around Cook Strait and uh, North Canterbury, wider upper area. Let's get to lunchtime Tuesday. You can see that cold front moving up over the North Island. Plenty of showers, some with hail, and it'll fall as snow around Central Plateau. Now, the dark blue cold line indicates Everyone's got a cold Tuesday, even the far north. In fact, daytime highs in Whangarei might only be around 12 degrees on Tuesday. To Wednesday, and that blue line moves further eastwards. That means it is warming up a degree or so along the western side. Not much, but just enough with that big high are starting to roll in. So it won't be too bad on Wednesday. The showers shift to the eastern side. It's mainly clear on the western side, but those showers you do see out at sea should arrive at some point because on Thursday, they are sliding along that western side. Really big high coming in from Aussie, but on the outer edges of it on Thursday, we've got showers moving up along the west coast and still getting showers in Southland but they do clear around the eastern side of the North Island. Let's head in towards the weekend. How's that for Friday? That big high coming in from Australia, settling things down. It should be sunny and frosty in many places, but still a couple of lingering showers around Wairoa, Mahia Peninsula and Gisborne. And this is how Saturday is shaping up at this stage, that big beautiful high pushing in over the North Island. The anticyclonic uh, anti winds, they get up into the subtropics and then they start to come down through central New Zealand. So it should be a fairly mild Saturday compared to where you are right now. And you can see the rain returns on the west coast as do the big strong northwest winds. In fact, there could be quite a big squash zone between that big high and a low just to the south. So welcome to winter, it is here. And uh, I guess that is all from me for today. Keep us up to date around the country too. If you've got snow falling or if you've got ice, you've seen it, or if you've got beautiful sunny weather, which some in the east are going to have, at least for Monday, maybe not so much on Tuesday. We'll update you again around lunchtime on Tuesday. <laughs>